Welcome to Chew the Fat. I am your host, Smooth, and today we are going to discuss Simone Biles and Jonathan Owens, not Simone Biles' husband, as some of you like to call him. So there's been a lot of controversy based around Jonathan Owens claiming himself to be the prize, and I agree. And I'm going to tell you why. We'll go over everything. And we're not going to discuss the women who have contention with this because you expect the miserable old bags and the perpetual singles to voice their opinions loudly in disgust. And that's fine. But what I wanted to do today was discuss the disgraceful men who don't get it and why. We're going to jump into this video real quick. Like to hear it here. It goes. Get into no long shit, bro. I gotta ask you, man. God damn, y'all boys scared, bro. As us pretty red dimes as we are. <laughs> Pause. Uh, How in the hell did you pull Simone Biden? <laughs> man, and we said, I love this football. First problem right here. The first problem right here. How in the hell did you pull Simone Biles? For those of you who don't know. Jonathan Owens plays safety for the Green Bay Packers, which is part of the National Football League. I don't understand what the problem is. We're going to carry on. How did you do that, bro? Man, it's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. <laughs> now now you listen, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Organic story, man. So I'm, uh, I'm about... I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. Um, I was single at the time, you know, so I'm just living, being me and myself. And COVID had just hit, and but I had just went to Arizona, and one of my boys are like, hey, man, you got to check out this app, you know? And I'm like, nah, I'll check it out. Like, what is it? It was called Raya at the time. So um, basically, it's like a dating app, but, you know, you have to go through certain, like, criteria to make sure that you're who you are. So literally, have been on the app for a couple of days, man, and it's like she pops up, and I'm like, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So, it, it. all right, here's the problem with that, right? Um, I have con some contention with this statement right here, right? Because he shouldn't have downplayed it like he didn't know anything about it. Because people went and um, actually got some proof to say, uh, no, you actually did. And I'm, I'm going to show it right here. This is from 2012. Damn, Gabby is good. Gabby with the gold. Gabby just needs to get them bottom teeth fixed and then her smile will be cool, LOL. So we can't play it like he doesn't understand anything about the Olympics. There's another tweet. This is more recent, of course, but low key, I'd, <laughs> I'd be hoping that the people from the other nations fall when they be doing gymnastics, LOL. The dude is a full-blown fan, so we need to quit playing like he doesn't understand what's going on with the Olympics and everything. He really should have never played that. A lot of tech to test determined that was a lie. We're going to carry on. It, it piqued my curiosity, you know, so I'm like, okay, that's, 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 a, I, I see what's up. I swiped her and it said we match, so I'm just like, oh, okay, so I'm going to see what's up. So I go do my workout and I come back. And I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, this might be it. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up. And then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this got to be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but. Like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good if... I promise you, I'm. A, I'm a real. They don't really Olympics. believe him at all. Olympics. I was in college. <laughs> they are not buying it. We didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels, and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know. So I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Jonathan, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was. Yeah, they're really not buying it. I understand because he's trying to make it seem as if he didn't know who she was, like. <laughs> She's one of the most decorated Olympians ever. Probably the best gymnast to ever grace the mat ever. So 
we can't really believe you on that. So this is kind of really throwing off your credibility a little bit. So I can see why a lot of people were annoyed with what he had to say, because you're starting off really poorly when you begin with a lie. Never begin with a lie. That was a lie. I was saying, man, she, she messaged me. This is like a Tuesday. And we, we, we were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So um, she came through down, um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in... I always say we, the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. Because I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you... Fight okay. So what's the problem with that? What's the problem with the man being the catch, right? What most people don't understand is that it's not really advantageous outside of raising children, right? In most cases, that it's advantage man for getting married. Men usually take all the risks. He hasn't even reached his full potential for his sexual marketplace value, period. He's in his late 20s. So he's probably going to get even better than where he is right now. Whereas Simone Biles, as great as she is, would probably be considered to be on the decline, right? So you just have to understand these things. This is just real life. Not to take anything away from Simone Biles because she has a great attitude about the entire situation, but she just realizes what I'm telling you right now. Having a good man is valuable. And she also understands that it's not that attractive for men to have the same type of value that women appreciate. Her status doesn't mean anything to him because guess what? They're just calling him Simone Biles' husband. So it means nothing. And everyone knows that when women acquire money, they don't typically share it with men. When women acquire money, they make sure they are good. And a lot of times they're children, but never usually their husband. That's why men don't care about your status. That's why men don't care about your money because it will never benefit men. We're gonna go to another clip here because these guys, they don't get it either, but we just gotta, we gotta touch Man, man. Thank you. Thank you, Ocho. He said what, he the who? He appeared on, he said he's the catch. Simone Biles and Jonathan Owens appeared on the Pivot podcast this week. My, I have no, I have no qualms on why. She oh, wait, 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 wait. Site. My question is why is he? What was that word you just said? What okay, qualms? I'm write that down because I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use that, in, I'm gonna use that in conversation right there. But I like that, boy. <laughs> so that's my my thing, and and for him to talk about he's right, the cat, right, 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 right. What kind of cat, man? Hey. I, I get it. I, I get it because look here. This is how you know you're not the catch. When everybody refers to you as Simone Instead Biles. By your first name. Yeah. 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 That's Simone Biles. I, I think, he, I think and, he understands that. I mean, he, he understands that. I think he knows. And those of us who don't watch football, which is America's game, by the way, would probably refer to him as such. Simone Biles' husband. But those of us who understand what it takes to become an NFL player would understand that this man is an actual catch. Most of these women who are very successful, who have a lot of money, they usually suck at dating. It's very hard for them to obtain a man and they never understand that part. So when you get a man who is really doing his thing, then you must understand that yes, he is a catch. This is why you see the women who are perpetual singles and never seem to be able to acquire a man and can never wonder why, because they don't understand where they actually qualify in the sexual marketplace and what actually it is that men truly value. And I'm going to say this, Shannon Sharp, I really, really have some qualms with what he has to say about relationships in general. He is not the guy to take relationship advice from. He doesn't get it. Ocho Cinco doesn't get it. And this is why they don't have themselves a Simone Biles. Simone Biles would appreciate a man who doesn't really care about her status. He's a masculine man and he's not phased by what it is 
that she brings to the table. She he will still treat her as if she's a regular woman. And maybe that's what she wants. Maybe she doesn't want a fanboy. Women want a man that they can actually look up to, love, admire, respect. This is what women want, not somebody who's going to be a fanboy. This is why you guys will never realize a woman like Simone Biles and he can. Knows and I think Simone is allowing him to to be the man and make it seem as if you know, you you are the one. You know, but right. the rest of the world will always see him as Simone Biles' husband. And that and that's that's no no disrespect. Yeah, and that's trash. That's a trash take on the situation, a trash take on the situation. And that's why most of his relationships are relatively or completely dysfunctional. He doesn't get it. He's never going to understand relationship dynamics. He just won't get it. And that's fine. But what I'm saying is don't take advice from people who are not successful at what they do. You would not take financial advice from a gambler or a bum. You probably wouldn't. So you shouldn't take relationship advice from people who are not successful, people who fail to acquire what it is that they want and their lives have very little that they can offer you that will help you find what you want in your life. Those are my thoughts on the matter. Don't let anyone who doesn't understand relationship dynamics advise you. Please don't. Simone Biles recognizes that she actually caught the man. And there's nothing wrong with that. You must understand what it is that men actually value. Men don't value the same things in a relationship that women do. If she were dating another woman, all of those attributes would be very attractive to her, but she's not. She's dating a man and a man is not going to be attracted to the same things that women are. Women, unfortunately, you can't set your own value to the marketplace, just like men can't. Your results will tell you where you stand. That's all I have for today. Go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. If you haven't subscribed or followed, please do. Let me know what you think of the video. I appreciate you for tuning in. And as always, stay hungry, my friends. Never thirsty.